here to talk about the periodic eruptions is seismologist Dr. Joan Latchman. Doctor, thank you for taking time for us tonight here on News Nation. I'm curious, volcanic activity in this part of the Caribbean, the Eastern Caribbean, is this rare or does this happen uh, often? Periodically, we have volcanic eruptions, have had volcanic eruptions in the 20th century. And this would be the first for the 21st century. Famously, there were two significant eruptions in two of our islands, St. Vincent being one and Martinique being the other in 1902. The one in 1902 in Martinique killed 30,000 people and in St. Vincent, 16,000, 1,600 people. So they're not rare, they, they're not frequent, but they, we do have them. Over the last six days, it's been pretty busy with these, these eruptions uh, occurring. Any idea how much longer this may go on? So historically, the first eruption we had, known eruption at 1718, and uh, well, of course, 1902 and 1979, with others in between, some have lasted weeks with explosive explosions, two weeks in some cases in 1979, three months, in 1902, 10 months. So it is difficult to be definitive of the length of time that we would be seeing explosive eruptions at the system for this episode. Looking back at the last uh, several weeks and months, can we look at any kind of, you know, you're from the world of seismology, any kind of clues that this was, was going to happen or is there still ongoing research on that? No, certainly uh, we did have periods of unrest. Initially, there was a period in July 2019 where we saw small level of elevation. Now, volcanic systems will do this. You have your periods of elevated volcanic seismicity and they usually subside and that lasted a, a few weeks and subsided to background. And then in 2020 November, we saw another elevation that was not particularly troubling. It could have subsided to background, but it didn't. And uh, although it stopped, we stopped seeing the events on the 23rd of December. And then on the 27th of December, there were reports that there was a dome growing in the volcano. Mm. So this particular volcanic episode started effectively aseismically. These events that we were seeing were very, very small unlike 1902, when you had earthquakes being felt for almost two years. And some volcanic eruptions start like that with earthquakes that are strongly felt. You may have been recording instrumentally for the instrumental era. You would have been recording earthquakes that would not be felt for a fairly extended period. And then you would start feeling bigger events. And then you would move to phreatic eruptions which is a steam explosion, and then you have the more substantial eruption, which would be explosive with pyroclastic flows and ash venting and that, that sort of thing. This particular episode started with very, very small, small seismicity and went on with low level seismicity for several months when the dome was growing and then 23rd of, of March into the 29th of March, we saw some bigger VTs. People started reporting them being felt. And then in April, some more felt events. The magnitudes never got to be really very large. They were being felt because they were very shallow and close to where people were living. And then we had our first explosive eruption on the 9th right. of April. Uh, Dr. Joan Latchman, thank you so much for taking time to, to kind of look beyond uh, just what we saw in the video, but kind of get into the science. And we appreciate your time tonight. You're most welcome. Thank you.